Good evening friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Coding Technologies. In this video lecture, I would like to discuss about the important coding questions that were asked recently in many companies. So if you observe the input format in the first line, the user needs to enter two space separated numbers that is Rahul's guess and computer's guess. For example, if you enter 15 space 20, these two numbers are Rahul's guess and computer's guess. 15 is Rahul's guess and 20 is computer's guess. And what is the output format? The output format is also a string denoting the number of black coins and number of white coins. What is meant by black coins? What is meant by white coins? We don't know anything about black coins and white coins. How the black coins formed and how the white coins formed. If you want to know about black coins and white coins, let us have a look on sample test cases that will help us a lot to understand what is black coins, what is white coins. In the first input, the user enters two integers that is 1423 and 1234. These are the two numbers which was entered by the user and the output is black is 1 and white is 3. Here we are giving an one explanation part regarding the output. The digit 1 is in same position in the two numbers in here we are here if you observe the two numbers that is 1 4 2 3 and 1 2 3 4 the starting digit is 1 in two numbers that's why the blacks count is 1 that means the starting position of two numbers is same and the second digit is 4 the 4 is present in the second number but not in the same position if you observe the position of the 4 in first digit the position is 2 but in the second number the position is last that's why we need to increase the bytes count and the next digit in the first integer is 2 and we need to check whether 2 is present in the second integer or not if it is present then we need to check the position of that particular number if these are same that means the position of these two digits are same then we need to increase the blacks count else whites count so 2 is present at third position in first number but 2 is present in second position at second number. So these two are not same position that's why we are going to increase blacks count. Now blacks count is 2 and the last digit in first number is 3. 3 is present in second number but not in the same position that's why we are increasing bytes count. So finally the black count is 1 and white count is 3. Let's, let's have a look on input 2 also that will help us a lot to understand the input and output formats well. The first number is 1, 4, 2, 3 and the second number is 5, 6, 7, 8. We need to check the one is present in the second number or not. If it is present then we need to check the positions are same or not. If it is same we need to increase the blacks count else whites count the first digit is 1 1 is not present in second string so no need to increase any count that is blacks count or whites count no need to increase next we need to check the 4 is present in second number or not no 4 is also not present no need to increase any count either black count or white count the next digit is 2. 2 is also not present and the next digit is 3. 3 is also not present. So the blacks count and whites count is 0 here. I hope all of you understand the input formats and output formats well. If you are having any queries, please comment it below. I will try to clarify your doubts. Before moving to the execution part, if any one of you are preparing for interviews, please share your resumes to gusredbhemanth.gmail.com because I will conduct mock interviews to us that will help to us. Okay then move on to the execution part. I am using python in order to complete this program. In the first line we need to take two space separator integers from the user and allocated these two values to Rahul's number and computer's number. That's why I am using two variables. First one is Rahul, second one is computer. In short I am writing com equal to input of input means it will take input from the user dot split of whenever the space is encountered between two numbers it will divide the string into two different and allocates 
one to Rahul and another to computer. That's why I'm using split. After that, we need to initialize the black count and white counts to zero. Black equal to zero. Enter white equal to zero. White equal to zero. Next, I need to iterate each and every digit in the first string with the each and every digit in the second string. If it is present in the second string, we need to check the positions of the two digits. If it is same, I need to increase black count else white count. If this is not present, no need to increase any count, either black count or white count. For that, I am using one for loop to iterate each and every digit in the given string for i in range of LAN of Rahul. Why I am using LAN of Rahul? Because we need to specify the range from which number to which number the loop will run. That's why I am using LAN of Rahul. It initially starts with 0 and ends with length of Rahul. For example, if Rahul's digit is 1, 2, 3, 4, the length of the Rahul is 4. So the for loop runs from 0 to 4. Next, we need to check whether the element at particular index is equal to the element at particular index or not. If it is equal, then we need to increase the black count. That's why I am checking if Rahul of i, Rahul of i, i is the index here, i double equal to computer of i, computer of i, then we need to increase the black count, v l a c k, black equal to black plus 1. Let's understand this with an example. For example, if the user enters 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and next number is 1, 4, 3. The for loop starts from 0. Rahul of i. Rahul of 0 means 1 here. Double equal to computer of 0. Computer of 0 is also 1 here. Then we need to increase the black equal to black plus 1. And the next one is next that means the next digit is 2 here and the next digit in computer is 4 here. 2 double equal to 4. So this condition is not satisfied. No need to increase the black count. If this condition is not satisfied. We need to check one more condition that is else if Rahul of i Rahul of i in COM, if this condition is satisfied, then we need to increase the bytes count. White equal to white plus 1. That's it. If these two conditions are not satisfied, no need to increase the black count or white count. After completion of this for loop, we just simply print blacks count and whites count. This blacks equal to black variable which holds the count of the black comma whites equal to we need to print the variable which holds the whites count that is white that's it Just save the program I'm saving the file as example example one dot py run it once and it is asking for input I am going to give the input as I just copy this input and paste it there and I am expecting 1 and 3 as output here we are observing that the output is 1 and 3 that means blacks as 1 and whites as 3 let's run one more test case let's copy this input also run the program once paste it here I am expecting 0 and 0 because no elements are matched in both of the numbers that's why I am expecting blacks as 0 and whites as 0 let's check it once here we are observing that the blacks count is 0 and whites count is 0 I hope all of you understand the program well if you are having any queries please comment it below I will try to clarify your doubts if you like the video then like else dislike the video that will help me a lot to understand how my teaching skills are and to improve my teaching skills. Thank you all.